We are going to be looking at one of the oldest Irish whiskey brands out there that's still running. Now, Powers John's Lane 12 year old is a single pot still Irish whiskey, and single pot still is the quintessential Irish whiskey style. It was the traditional way we made whiskey. So, yeah, just cracking open this wee tube. Lovely. Some of you'll remember the old style of Powers bottle. It was tall, and the John's Lane one actually came with this beautiful um, like map of the old John's Lane distillery in Dublin. Sadly, yeah, sadly we no longer get that beautiful map. Now this is a bit more of a modern bottle. I actually dig this bottle. I really like the way that the diamond P is kind of taking center stage on this one. Right, that's that. So let's rate their pop. Oh, nice. That cork didn't want to come out. It was fighting me. That's how much of a good cork that was. It had a good howl on the Ishkabaha. I just I just love that sound, that gargle of Irish whiskey. It's just just utter happiness coming out of that bottle. Now on the bottle it says that it is triple distilled so that means that it has been distilled three times in copper pot stills. It's also non-chill filtered. 12 year old single pot still guaranteed only pot still well that's good and then it says the date right at the top there 1791 and that was when the powers brand was established in dublin on john's lane and that's where they distilled for a long time now it is made down in the distillery in middleton and this is also coming in at 46 percent abvs Oh yeah, oh man, this, this is just brilliant. This, there's just this beautiful like leather tobacco note just coming off and the wood is there, just lightly charred coming through. And maybe a wee bit of, a wee bit of soft fudge or toffee as well. Oh yes, absolutely yes. Um, straight away, that single pot still mouthfeel is apparent. It just coats the mouth. Uh, it's like viscous honey in there. So it is. There's the vanilla on the tip of the tongue. There's honey. There's some of that classic pot still bacon spices uh, along uh, the fat of the tongue as well. But right at the end, or just kind of like dancing through it all, is this like stone fruit or or like almost like a fresh apricot, like a fleshy apricot sort of note, which is just so delicious. Oh, unbelievable. Even better the second time around. And that honey sweetness is tied up with the oak is just there. Now, and that extra ABV at 46% is just carrying the flavor because alcohol can carry flavor when it's balanced out right. And Powers being a distillate driven whiskey, as in they want the, the the spirit that comes off the still to do a lot more of the talking so they don't put it into uh, big big influential casks they really want you when you crack open that bottle to enjoy the spirit so at 46 percent you really get those flavors coming through and that fresh apricot it's still there oh yes oh honestly i just actually just got a wee bit of like dark chocolate and that oiliness is just carrying through so nicely uh, i don't think you can ever go wrong with the powers john's lane uh, if somebody was just like, here, there you go. I'm like, here, what's that? And they were like, Powers John's Lane. I'd be like, oh, you dancer. Love it. Love you too. Right, anyway, let's launch it. But it's just like drinking a big glass of honey, alcoholic honey as well. All the bees must be, you know, flying into bars or something. Maybe that's from the bees around the distillery, no? Don't think that's how honey or bees or whiskey works.